Hi there and welcome to another amazing episode of Creatives on the Couch with me, Reese Ryan, and my gorgeous co-presenter, the beautiful, unique Monique. Hey. You look stunning today, look at you. Thank you very much. Loving this colour on you. Loving this colour on you. You know, it's like we're, we're just <laughs> matching. And on today's episode, I'm absolutely delighted to welcome an amazing guy and a really good friend of mine, and we're going to delve deep into his life. It's the film producer and movie writer, Mr. Craig Quinn. Hello. Hi, yeah. Look at this. Oh. It's like role reversal here. Right, oh, you look much different. I know. Yeah, you know, like and then you know your old boar hog kind of thing. <laughs> oh, we'll this guy's that. been dressed up as a pig man for the last five months. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, though. It's really nice that you were able to fit us in because you're so busy. I'm glad to be here, you know. Look at this. You it's know. not bad, is nice, it? Nice, isn't it? Nice gaff you've got here, Reese. Do you know? Yeah, yeah. Does it all the same. Thank you. You, you're in charge of this whole arrangement, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. It's oh, good. Oh, good. Nice to tie the famous waistcoats back on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I won't say... It's not really famous. I, I'm the only one who's got it. Because, <laughs> you know, I got it custom-made, you know. Oh, exactly, that's why it's famous. Yeah. There's only one of them, so, you oh, know. Oh, nice. It looks fit. Yeah, I'll make it famous, you know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how, but, you know, I'll, 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 have, I'll have a go. I'll do something. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> we know exactly. <laughs> oh, okay, so oh, guys, my don't start, oh my days! Oh my days! Oh no! What this have we done? This is going to be an interesting show today. Hey, are we? All the crews just walked out, shaking heads. Oh, no. Crews gone. Here we go. Nobody's here. It's just us. <laughs> so let's go right the way back. You know, because um, there's a lot of people watching this, and they're going to be like, "Who is this man?" So let's go right the way back and find out what makes you. What makes me tick? Well, horror. Mm-hmm. Horror, um, listening to punk, um, ghosts and things. Have you ever seen a ghost? Not seen one, but I've experienced one. Oh, okay. So when I used to live in a flat in Dralston, just down the road, and um, it was used to be in a, a cotton mill, and me and my girlfriend at the time, we were trying to get to sleep. And on the back of us, the kitchen was there, you know, where our room was. Okay. So we left the, um, you know, like the oven door, you know, where it slide down. We left it kind of like, you know, open. And next thing, you know, we hear this big bang. And um, we ran, ran in, and the oven door was shut. And she lost the CD in the house. Um, I don't know if I can say yeah, what it is for copyright and things, <laughs> and things like that. But she lost a CD in the house. Uh, this CD went missing. Mm. And she said she heard the lyrics from one of the songs oh being whispered down her ear. Oh, my God. And the CD never got found. Stop it. <laughs> After, this was when she discovered that, you know, the CD had gone missing. Okay. And something whispered down her ear, a lyric. Stop it. Have you ever had a ghost experience? <sighs> I've had that sleep paralysis that everybody mm. talks about. From time What's that? Time. When you try to wake up, but you can't wake up, mm. and it feels like you've been held down in your bed. Oh, mm. yeah. So that, some people normal, say it's yeah. supernatural, and some people say you're just halfway in between mm. sleeping and waking it's up. It's the way your body is, or it could have um, just been a really good Saturday you? night out. <laughs> <laughs> it was that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you've experienced the ghost, Reese. D- uh, the one that when we were filming? On set of Borhog. Yeah, there, there was... <laughs> It, it was it was really really weird. We're going to talk a little bit more about this um, later on, but we've just finished a film um, called Borhog, and um, we were doing a scene, and we were in this um, this like slaughterhouse um, with this. The, the, we, we, we'd got a um, a sheet over the gap with all the cameras in front of it. Um, me on set with with my co-star um, inside of me, and, and, and Craig was filming, and we had the sound and everything. And when we did all the stills. And all the, the still photos, like we have here, we have stills mm. done yeah. on set constantly. Yeah. Um, when it came back, in the corner where we were filming, where the sheet was, 
there was a face actually Africa. looking at us. Yeah, yeah. There was nobody there. No. There was no one on Did the set at that point. Yeah, yeah, I posted it. It was me who discovered so I'll it. I'll show you the picture. But you can actually see this face oh, stood right next um, to me. That note, I think I don't want to... <laughs> She's off. Because you've got... Yeah. She's off. <laughs> <laughs> So have you, you've you've always been into horror then now that I've terrified my Yeah, girl. since a young age I watched, uh, I think I must have watched Chucky when I was about four or five. What? Really? Four or five? Yeah, just passively watched it, you know, some someone was watching it and I shouldn't have been watching it, but I did. <laughs> and Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, everybody watched Freddy Krueger. As a kid? Yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't have been watching I it. I, I was watching from the stairs. Oh, uh, really? did you have nightmares? No, I don't. You see, get I think I was about like eleven when I watched it, the yeah. Tim Curry version. They all float, mm. and it absolutely terrified yeah. me to the point of watching, going, "That's what I'm going to do with oh, the rest really? of my yeah. life." I, was... I watched how Tim played Pennywise and thought, yeah. "That's my life's journey." Yeah. Do you think that's why you both love horror so much, then? Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess yeah. like for me, it's been from a young age. Yeah. And... For me as well, and obviously when we met and. Um, you know, we're, we're both equally as sick, aren't we, really, where horror's concerned, of yeah. what we want to create. Yeah. And um, I think it was just like a dream team coming together. Oh, right. Um, with what yeah. he writes and, and what I'd got in my mind of how mm. to play the character. Mm. Yeah. Um, but you'll see that when we make ours. Yes. So, yes. Can't wait. So, writing that side of it, did you start that at a really early age or did that come later? Yeah, I've always been into creative writing, but, you know... Actually, writing screenplays came at a later time in my life. You know, I think I think I got into like my early twenties when I started writing mm. screenplays and things like that. And I mean, I, I've, have you ever written a screenplay? Not a screenplay. I've written. Because I don't even know to start. Neither would I. So what made you get into screenplay writing? Well, it's always about a what if. You know. Oh, right. Okay. I always think you know what if this happened or you know stories I hear. And, you know, I've, like, I've got to write about that if it's OK with the person who told me, you know. So I hear all these stories and then I think, you know, what if, what if I can, you know, add to that? And it's always got to be unique, you know, something that's not been done before, mm. well, kind of hard, thing. Isn't it? it is hard, but, you know, you just have to dig deep enough. You've got a story that nobody's ever heard. Mm. Everybody's got a story that nobody's ever heard. True. You know, it just depends how you project it and how you tell it. Mm. What was your childhood like? Uh, good, you know, okay. come from a good mum and dad, you know, they always did great things for me, um, you know, always made sure I got as many opportunities as I can, you know, like my dad always, you know, raised me like with positive mindset, mm -hmm. and as my mum did as well, um, you know, I got bullied at school because of punk things, um, but you know, now I see them and I'm just like, you're vanilla, so you know, mm -hmm. I, you know, you are a vanilla ice cream. You know, they, yeah, they, you know, yeah, you know, they go to a job they hate, come back to a True. relationship they hate, so. It was big there. <laughs> I love so, that. yeah, so, yeah, get in the bin. Get in, in get the bin. Get in the bin. You have that on your headstone, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Single and ready to mingle and get, get in, in the, the bin. bin. <laughs> Craig Quinn didn't like many people, so get in the bin. <laughs> 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 oh my day! So, are you are you writing anything else at the moment? What's what's? We are, but I'm not saying anything because mm. it will get nicked. Oh well, uh, yeah, I, I guess I yeah. guess that's that's the. We're doing something that's you know not been. We're working with characters, a certain type of characters that haven't been done in horror before. Okay. Okay. So um, well, it's awesome. people will say it's a superhero movie. It's not a superhero movie. I meant to be, people say, you know, I'm playing a superhero, but I'm not. I'm playing a vigilante. So See, you're the kind of guy, it. from what I've noticed, is like when anything sort of like winds you up, I mean, and we've had some things wind you up on, on the set of our film, haven't you? He just like takes a step back, goes and stands in a very dark corner, puts his head down and goes, I'm going to think of stranger things. <laughs> I just come I just come out the shadows. Yes. <laughs> like Batman. They think you, I'm hiding in the shadows. You are I am the shadows. <laughs> addicted to Stranger Things, though, aren't you? Stranger Things, Batman is just like your thing. Life for me. Hence the shoes. Hence the shoes. Hence the tattoos. Oh wow, let's have a look. I have Batman tattoos oh, wow. from the Arkhamverse. I got Scarecrow there. Amazing. I've got Joker there. Yeah. So yeah, that's Keep just. Fan. 
yeah, I'm a big fan of the Arkhamverse. It's pretty much why I got back into filmmaking. Okay. So, you know, because of the whole universe, how they built it, all the Easter eggs they do, the references to different characters. I thought, you know, I'm never going to create something like that, but, you know, that's why I came back and did the Sound of the City universe. Okay, all right. So. Mm -hmm. Some of our viewers won't know what an Easter egg is, and mm. they're going to be like, what's an Easter egg? Yeah. Just explain what an Easter egg is. Well, every year, around about April... <laughs> They, they make chocolate Stop things beat. that are like in an egg. <laughs> You're such a bad and man. They, they put like a colourful foil around them. Do they? Yeah, and then you open them. Oh. And apart, you know, nobody really knows why, but you just you, you just eat them. And now do the one that's in the film. Ah, oh, that one. You wanted that one. All right, okay. So, um, so an Easter egg is where you kind of like refer to something. Right. So an example in film is, well, in gaming, in the Arkham verses, there's a picture right at the, in the first shot of the game mm. where it's somebody carrying, like, a soldier from battle. And at the end of the game, that's how Batman carries Joker out of the music, this the right. theatre. So it's like kind of like you refer to something. I think I, I saw one recently, I don't know if you've seen that. Have you seen the film Choose or Die? No. It's a brand new horror film that's just come out on Netflix. I watched it with you. And uh, we did watch it together. And um, there is a very, very, very short cameo appearance, mm. uh, sound appearance of Robert England, mm. who is Freddy Krueger. Mm. But he's there as a character in the film. Yeah. And yet when they walk through mm -hmm. and the boy ends up in the bedroom on the wall, is the poster for a Nightmare on Elm Street? Yeah, yeah. Clever. So it's an Easter egg where right. they're referring yeah. very subtly. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to touch on that. Yeah, very, very soon. yeah. We're going to take a quick break right now, and then we'll be back with more stories and find out what else Mr. Quint has been up to. See you in a couple of moments. 